Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a browser on the Proxmox host. So let's say you have one computer, say pretty much just a laptop, but you still want to play around with Proxmox. Um, you know that that is not possible because you want the dashboard of Proxmox to start your to create your VMs and containers and so on. So you need a browser, you need to log in remotely to use Proxmox. But uh, you can actually install a, uh, a browser on Proxmox, on the Proxmox host without a problem. So I can go into my Proxmox and then shell and show you here, but I'm gonna switch over to my phone recording and show you on that side here on the phone as you can see i'm on my uh, proxmox host machine i'm just taking it with my camera right so in order to run a browser which is a graphical uh, application you need to install x server so x server basically just renders graphical elements so that you can do that and let's check the app after command so the command is app install x server which is the graphics part to make this all possible and then x init basically just starts and initialize x server so i don't know how that works but you need to install that as well so it's x server installation x init and then obviously firefox or a browser that you want to install run that command it will run for a while and then uh, that's basically it. you don't have to restart your machine so the next command to run after that is finished is just to start x server so you say start x and then obviously the path bin so start x starts x server and then the, the path is the application that you want to start so firefox dash esr and there it goes there it goes so now you can actually just let's see if i can type search for something yeah it works so now you can actually access your uh, your proxmox host via the browser on the on the host <laughs> confusing i had to plug in my mouse quickly so we can go so we can go to my Proxmox machine, so that is HTTP is forward slash um, and, and there you go. So obviously root, so default username and then your password obviously right so that is just that thing that's annoying uh i thought i got rid of that but anyway and there's my proxmox on this side we have sense ubuntu good stuff so you can do this on one machine easy peasy good 